Hello, my friends. I trust all has gone according to plan so far. Just a minute, and I'll begin a shutdown of any defensive systems Apocalypse might have. The furball here demanded that I come along as protection. Hey, what's going on? I stand corrected. Apparently, you're the one who needs protection. <laughs> well done, my servant. You have not only handed the fourth victim to me, you have delivered my enemies. This pleases me greatly. For that, I am proud, my master. The beast you knew was erased back at the Savage Lands. I am now Dark Beast, servant of Apocalypse. Ignore these fools, beast. Let us rendezvous with Sabertooth on the roof. There, we will complete the final leg of our journey. You're all mine, Cupcake! This is turning into quite a little family reunion. Do enjoy yourselves. <laughs> Greetings, friends. I bet you never thought to see me again. The name is Archangel. Mr. Sinister opened my eyes. I am no longer confined by Xavier's rules of morality. I'm free to enjoy my powers, to revel in them, and not feel guilty for being a mutant god who walks amongst weakling humans. Ah, but for the first time, I am. Come, let me show you just how powerful the truth can be. Is there no one who can truly challenge me? Yes. I need more energy for that. We'll do it. Go! Got it, if you say so. Get away from that teleporter arm! Get away from that teleporter arm! Get him! Me? There's the... The teleporter arms alone! Additional units needed! Insane? Now the teleporter beam is out of control! 
The beam is malfunctioning! Infinite, where are you? Don't let the teleporter beam reach me! Infinites, I command you, keep the teleporter beam away from me! The beam is malfunctioning! Infinites, stay clear of the teleporter beam! Infinites, I command you, keep the teleporter beam away from me! Infinites, I command you, keep the teleporter you beam me away no from choice me! But to destroy you. Okay. Oh! I don't have enough power for that. You never were that good in a fight. Go on, but be sure to contact us once you're through. We'll meet you in the X-Jet. Not to worry, he'll be taken care of. Sure thing. What's going on here? Where am I? Cease your struggles. Those restraints are composed of adamantium. A metal which even your elephantine strength cannot break. I'm gonna paint this whole room with your blood! Though limited, your vocabulary is certainly colorful. <laughs> you can't do this! You're an X-Man! You're an X-Man! I am... was... An X-Man! Having second thoughts, beast? No. No. Not at all. What of the Nexus? How soon until it is functional? Sinking four genomes is no small feat. 
The energy generated by infusing these four mutant genes is far greater than had been guessed. Perhaps even more than you could cope with. You underestimate me, beast. Once I wield the power of the four, I will be invincible. None will stand in my way, and I will see to it. The X-Men and the Brotherhood are utterly annihilated. <laughs> Thanks to your efforts, the remnants of Apocalypse's force are falling quickly. The authorities expect to regain total control of New York City in a matter of hours. You're quite correct. The teleporter at the top of Apocalypse's tower has led us to one of the pyramids of Giza. Yes, for all we know, he may have helped build this structure when he was a young man. Yes, but first we must locate Beast. He would have information on the machine Apocalypse has labored so hard to build. That device causes me the greatest amount of concern. Feel free to explore this area, but when you're ready, come and see me for more information on your next mission. Our time grows short, my friend. If we are to succeed, we must find Beast before Apocalypse is able to activate his machine. He left that teleporter on in New York because he wanted us to follow him, and I refuse to blindly walk into whatever trap he has prepared. Beast is our only hope of discovering what Apocalypse has planned. If you would like more information on this, use the mission briefing computer. He's quite distraught right now at having fought with our team on top of Apocalypse's tower. Right now, he's feeling far too guilty to think like that. But don't worry, in no time he'll be fully recovered. Any time, my friend. Man, I never thought I'd see one of you this close without being in battle. My code name is Scarlet Witch, but my real name is Wanda Maximoff. Yes, because he is. I also have a brother named Quicksilver, but he's currently a prisoner of Apocalypse. I have the power of chaos magic. It's an energy that allows me to alter probabilities. And that means I can make the most improbable events possible. Quicksilver is gifted with superhuman speed. When fighting or running, he's a blur of motion. Neither Quicksilver nor I feel as strongly against humans as our father, but we work with him in hopes of softening his actions. Any time, X-Man. Hello, my friends. Of all the places I thought I might go today, an Egyptian pyramid was nowhere on the list. <laughs> mm. 
One theory is he moves his spirit to a younger body every few decades, and when he wears out that body, he moves on to the next. That's a possibility too, or he could just have a very, very long lifespan. Apparently, when he was first born, Apocalypse was sought after by a pharaoh, and that pharaoh was really a visitor from another world. I imagine Apocalypse took it from him. I guarantee all of it, 100 percent. Having chased Apocalypse through the teleporter atop his tower, our team wound up here in Giza, Egypt. With the aid of the X-Jet, we brought the rest of the team and are preparing for a final assault on Apocalypse's lair. How's Angel? Mentally, he's shaken up. But given time, he should recover from the mind control drugs of Mr. Sinister. Physically, I don't know if we'll ever be able to return him to his natural form. Is Beast being controlled the same way Angel was? Most definitely. If we can free him from Apocalypse, we should have little trouble clearing his mind. Now that Apocalypse has the four mutants he needs for his machine, is this something we should be concerned about? That's difficult to say until we find out exactly what it is. And my son is a part of this machine? Just like Polaris, Emma Frost, and Sabretooth. Then we must move swiftly, Xavier. I will not risk my son's life one more second. Do you hear? I've done as you asked me up to this point, but I cannot wait a moment longer. I understand, Eric. But for us to succeed, we must first locate Beast. That's preposterous, Xavier. Why should I risk my son's life just to save one of your X-Men? Think about it, Magneto. Apocalypse left the teleporter on in New York to deliberately lure us here. A trap is waiting for us. Yes. If we can free Beast, he might be able to warn us what the trap is. Very well. We'll do it your way, Xavier. But may the gods help you if my son is harmed. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Now, be on your way. We have no time to waste. 